Hello! Welcome! So, I am very, very excited for this month. It is November, so we are doing nonfiction and indigenous reading and maybe some other things if I can get to them. Let me stop this door from rattling. Okay, let's do indigenous reads first. So, I did look at the Skoden Readathon board and I think that I will have enough matches to get a bingo or whatever. So <laughs> we'll start with this. This is the only book that I own for my indigenous reads. This is This Accident of Being Lost. This is by the author of Islands of Decolonial Love, which I read last year, I believe, and absolutely loved. And this is similarly another collection of stories, poems, or songs. And I believe that is also a prompt on the board. Verse short story, etc. And I also have another book from this author, a novel, Nupi Ming, The Cure for White Ladies. And this is, I believe, a very like um, non-traditional style. It looks very, very good and I heard very good things about it. Excited for that one. I have two kind of thriller mystery books. The first one is The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. I think, I feel like I am the last person on booktube to read this book, but yeah, I have meant to ever since I first heard about it and somehow just have not gotten around to it yet. So I believe this is following like four young men who were involved in something and now they're being like hunted by a deer or something like that. I really don't know what happens in this and I don't really want to so I haven't really looked up any plot or anything like that. The other one that I want to read has not come in to the library yet but I do also have access to an audiobook of it and it is um Oh no. It is Murder on the Red River by Marcy R. Rendon. I have never read anything by this author, so this will be a, a new author for me. I believe we are following a kind of investigator named Cash. I don't really know, but it sounds very good and I've heard good things about it as well. I also have The Plague of Doves. I read The Roundhouse last year and that is I think the third book in this roughly trilogy or trio of books that starts with this one. So I believe this is following the mother of the kid that is the main character in The Roundhouse when she is a kid. So I am very excited to get back into this world. If it is anything like The Roundhouse, it will absolutely rip my heart out and stomp all over it, but um, I'm ready, I guess. I'm ready for it. I am excited to be getting back into her work. I haven't read anything since last year. So I also have Root Magic, which is a middle grade book. And this is by a member of the Gullah Geechee Nation, I believe. And so this is uh, African American folk magic, root magic, um, combined with indigenous heritage, I believe. So this should satisfy the middle grade or children's reading prompt. And then I have kind of a crossover of nonfiction and indigenous, and that is We Are Meant to Rise, Voices for Justice from Minneapolis to the World, a collection of indigenous writers and writers of color. Essays and poems vividly reflect and comment on the traumas we endured in 2020. So there are a lot of works in this. I think that it will be probably a very good way to find new authors and new activists to follow as well. So I am excited about that. So that brings us to our nonfiction picks. I am mostly using this month to try to get through some of the nonfiction that I own. A lot of my unread shelf is nonfiction because I am really bad about buying nonfiction that looks great and then just kind of not finishing it. So I have, I am halfway through All About Love by Bell Hooks. I started this in October, I think, um, but I was reading a chapter an evening for a while and then I just kind of fell off of it and and I decided to just save it for November. So this should not be a struggle to finish at all. The other one that I would really like to prioritize this month is Staying Alive by Vandana Shiva, 
women, ecology, and development. This is kind of an exploration of women and nature and the relationship between women and nature and humanity and how that has kind of been destroyed by development and capitalism and all of that. So I'm very fascinated by this. So this is the one that I would really, really like to finish this month. I also would like to read, I have Skill in Action and another book by the same author that is kind of about yoga, meditation, spirituality, that sort of thing. And they are very short books, but I believe they are kind of workbooks. And so I'd like to work my way through at least one of them this month. And if I turn into some kind of nonfiction reading machine, <laughs> I would also love to get through Orientalism this month. I have read about 85 pages and I did really, really enjoy it, but it is very intense, like very academic, and so I need to just keep pushing through. I have been struggling hardcore to listen to audiobooks lately. Um, I just have not been able to focus on them at all. I don't, I just don't want to do it. My brain, like, it heavily resists them. <laughs> so I did not plan for a lot of audiobook listening this month, but if I am able to work some in, there are several new nonfiction books that I would really like to listen to. One of them is Who is Wellness For? Um, an examination of wellness culture and who it leaves behind. I love that topic. If you have not heard me talk endlessly about the podcast maintenance phase it is my favorite podcast of all time. They have a slightly different focus, but it is just a general topic that I am very, very interested in. I would also like to read White Women. I forget the author's name right now, but obviously it will be on the screen. I follow her and her kind of organization on Instagram and I am regularly made very uncomfortable by her posts, which I think is a very, very good thing. And so I think the book would probably be extremely beneficial to read. So that actually comes out November 1st, I believe. So if I am able to get a hold of an audiobook next month, I would really like to try to read that. And then I just have a couple Spanish books. I am hosting a book club for El Silencio de la Ciudad Blanca in a language learning server that I am part of. We are halfway through or will be at the beginning of November. So this will be finished the fourth week of November. This is a kind of thriller mystery-ish investigative book. It's not like my favorite book on the planet or anything so far, but it has been a good read in Spanish. And I am also buddy reading Cronica de una Muerte Anunciada with the bookish sociologist on Instagram. This is a Chronicle of a Death Foretold. I have never read anything from Gabriel Garcia Marquez before in my life in English or in Spanish, so I am very, very excited to read the very first one and hopefully the first of many. The um, Hundred Years of Solitude is on my wish list to read very, very soon. So anyway, very excited about this. I am tempted to throw a bunch more Spanish <laughs> books in there because I have so many that I want to read, but I am going to be realistic as if this whole video has been realistic and not do that. I probably will listen to at least one more audiobook in Spanish because I listen while I am commuting, but I'm just gonna leave that one flexible and because I don't normally do TBRs at all. The past few months are the first times that I have done TBRs, so I don't wanna start feeling, you know, claustrophobic. <laughs> I don't think I will though because I am so excited about reading all of these, so. If you posted a TBR, definitely let me know in the comments and I will check it out. If you don't make videos or didn't do one, let me know if there's anything that you are particularly excited about checking out in November and I will see you in the next video.